The polygon tool is almost identical to the circle tool. The procedures are exactly the same. It's this tool right here. The only difference is it's really critical to type in the number of sides before you draw it. The default is hexagon. So let's say I want an octagon. I can just type in eight, press enter. And again, two click process. So the first click sets the origin point and the second click determines the radius. Just gonna start a new document just to clean up the space as well. And one thing to note when you are drawing with the polygon tool is it is pretty critical where you put your cursor because that's gonna determine based on the shape that you're using where your line work is gonna end. So in this case, if I follow along the red axes here, my endpoint's gonna end right there. Now, like the circle tool, you can always take the select tool, select the edges, and in entity info, you can actually change the number of sides here. So a question you might have is, well, what's the difference then? If you have a circle and a polygon that are both relatively the same number of sides, what's the true difference then? The difference between the two really is once you extrude these in 3D, which we'll do it a little bit later, you'll notice that in the segments, your edges are defined. So it gives you that hard edge. Whereas on a circle, it rounds or softens those edges. Now, it doesn't mean that those edges aren't there. They're just hidden. And you can see that by turning on hidden geometry.